Okay, so welcome back. So for today, we're going to talk about things to consider while you are dating or before you get married. So why are we going to talk about this? As a married individual, I want uh, you to realize uh, the things that you have to watch out for before you get or to commit to something that is ideally unbreakable. So kumbaga, um, siniset ko na, um, binibigyan ko na kayo ng warnings, ng mga hints, ng mga guide para kumbaga ma- matanggal ba natin yung, yung possibility na magkaroon ng miserable life, miserable married life, but instead we'll be able to uh, choose the right person for us. Kumbaga, yung iba niya niisipin, bakit ang aga naman pag-uusapan, just kung nag-date pa lang kami. Classmate, hello! You are dating because you have plans of getting married in the future. Yun ang ideal concept ng dating. Your the, the goal of dating is for you to get married eventually. So if you're not if you're not aiming for that, that means um well you're playing around, and this might not might not be the content for you. But for those who would want to be sure of their future in terms of marriage and family life. I uh, please do listen with the things that you should consider. Kumbaga, being in a relationship is dating and being in a relationship is already an investment, not only in in terms of feelings but with time. Isipin mo kung nakipag-commit ka sa, sa isang tao for 10 years, then it ends up na hindi pala siya yung nakatuluyan mo. Nisayan ka ng panahon. Could have done more, although you would definitely learn from that experience. So I hope that through this um, through this video, you'll be able to reflect and you may also include your partner with you for that, for you to think about things. Kasi when we talk about relationships, we should mean business. Kumbaga, seryoso talaga tayo. So let's start. Okay, so... So, di ko nalag- nalagay agad. So, let's start with this one. So, this is my presentation. Okay. Questions to ask and things to consider. These are practically things and factors to consider during dating or before getting married. So, yan. Ang banggit ko na kanina, we date because we want to find someone. Uh, someone for us. We want to find our husband or wife, tama? And marriage would work if we choose the right person and if we become the right person. So with that, you also have to consider that you are going to have a family with that person. Masyadong futuristic, no? Pero no, we're just being practical here. Uh, please be guided by the, it's not really a saying, but I read it uh, online that it really makes sense. We cannot choose our parents, right? Children cannot choose their parents. But the, the, the role that we could do is for us to choose the right parent for our children. Okay, I'm going to repeat that. Children cannot choose their parents. But we can choose the right parent, the right partner, the right father or mother for our own children. So that they would not end up asking, Bakit kailang, bakit hindi ko... Di ako pwedeng mamili ng magulang. Let's, ex- let's expound on that. When you, get, when you get born, you don't get to choose your parents, right? So, kumbaga, isa yun sa mga fixed. It's beyond your control. So, there are, there are kids or children who end up asking, even adults, bakit sila naging magulang ko? So, on your end, you are already anticipating the concept of family. Try your best that that child that you're going to have in the future will not ask the question. And how would you do that? For you have to choose the right person and be the right person. Kasi kung di mo gagawin yun, you end up fighting and fighting and fighting. And may even end up having a broken family. And your child might end up asking that question. And we don't want that, right? So there. So first consideration, if, or first question, how does he see life? 
what are his goals and attitudes in life? Iplano ba siya? O baka kahit ano na lang, okay lang. You would see this with how he studies eh. How, how is he coping up with his studies? Kahit may bagsak, okay lang. Basta dapat may plano. Okay? Kung alam, makikita mo na yung tao seryoso sa pag-aaral niya. Kahit may bagsak, kahit nahihirapan siya. Perso pa din. Okay? Gusto niya makapagtapos. Another question, may plano ba siya? Ano yung plano niya sa buhay? Uh, there are lots of um, good-looking boys and girls who are really, not and even not, and even those who are not really gifted with the physical appearance, we're, we, we're not here to discriminate. At the end of the day, my dear uh, listeners, wala sa itsura eh, wala siya sa facial aspect, nasa ugali, I'm telling you. Ito, kahit, I'm gonna bet my neck. Yung itsura, ano na, it fades eh. But the, the attitude, that's something that you would hold on and that's something that would keep you falling in love with the person. Yun, kailangan may plano. May plano ba? At kung walang plano, paano? It, you could say that the, the person might be too young for plans, but at least look at the short-term goals. Magpa-plano ba siya? May direction ba siya? That's the right question. Okay? Or kahit saan na lang siya dalhin ng hangin. You would be able to detect that uh, in the few months of dating and even if you're in a relationship already. Okay? Then, you, you also consider their attitude in life. How do they see life? Are they optimistic about it? Are they negative about it? Were they highly traumatized in the past? Okay? Because of uh, a particular, particular um, experience that scarred them. You have to make a decision. If you really love the person and you think you could put up with, with that situation, then go ahead. But practically speaking, okay? If you already see red flags with the attitude that he, he or she has, you still have time to leave, okay? So, but if in case you met someone with plans, goals in life, and has a, an optimistic and a somewhat realistic attitude in life, you got a winner. You jackpot ka, girl, okay? So, kailangan makita mo na yung tao yun. Maganda yung perspective sa buhay. Yung may discate siya and all, okay? So, that's the first one. <clears throat> At, and of course, before I move on, dapat ikaw din. Baka, um, tanong ka ng tanong or consider ka ng consider ng mga ganitong bagay, eh, ikaw mismo walang direksyon sa buhay. At siya, kaya. Okay? It's a two-way process. And huwag mong hanapin ang isang bagay na wala sa'yo. Okay? You might be expecting all these things. You're looking for Mr. Mr. or Miss Perfect. Pero ikaw, di mo inaayos ang sarili mo. Okay? Uh, you have to consider that as well. Next is priorities. Ano yung priorities niya? Makikita mo yan with how he or she spends his or her free time. How he or she spends his or her weekends. Okay? Ano yung usually yung ginagawa niya? Kung sakaling may lakad, papipiliin siya between friends and family. Sino pipiliin niya? Between you and your, between you or your, his family, sino pipiliin niya? I heard it from someone, although I would consider it something that that would depend on the person. Sabi niya, kung ang dinidate mo is pin, pinaprioritize niya yung family niya, that's a good sign daw. Kasi that means when he has his own family, he would prioritize his own family. But then there's uh, there's a thin line there between prioritizing your family or baka talaga masyadong um, dependent or reliant dun sa family niya talaga. Baka pala hindi makapag-decision on his or her own. You, know, you see, you have to consider. You would see it how, with how he communicates with his parents if he or she introduced you to the, to the family already. Consider mo din kung paano niya tratuhin yung mga kapatid niya. Paano niya tratuhin yung nanay niya or yung tatay niya. For girls, consider how your date yo, or the, your boyfriend treats his mom and his sisters. Consider then how he talks about his previous relationships. Hindi naman sa para mag-away kayo, pero minsan, you may, if you're open to so, such conversations, you ask him what happened in his past relationships, which we, we will be talking about afterwards, okay? 
baga makikita mo, ano ba yung priorities niya? O baka, as early as now, nakikita mo na yung priorities niya is on the vices. Okay? And that's already a red flag. Okay? Next is, moving to the to the uh, vices what are his values and vices in the long vis okay pareho ba kayo ng set of values kung hindi kayo pareho ng set of values can you see uh, the both of you adjusting kasi ang pinaka mahirap diyan is kung yung tao ayaw magbago or hindi man niya ma-realize na may mali siya okay or if may mali siya if there is the willingness to grow and to change and to adjust for the sake of your relationship, go. That's okay. But then, consider, nagmamatch ba yung values nyo? Pag ba napapag-usapan nyo yung mga murder, murder cases, AG case, rape, how does he or she respond to that? Okay? Anong tingin nyo sa corruption and dishonesty? Di naman tayo na tumitingin sa perpektong tao kasi eventually, we, we get older, we get more matured, we tend to change perspectives in life. But then, or we even develop values. Pero may mga values na fixed. Okay? How does he see life? Anong tingin niya sa abortion? Anong tingin niya sa dissolution of marriage? Sa pagkikipaghiwalay? You have to see that. And you would also see that with the values that, that his or her family has. Makikita mo yan. Okay? Which moves to the vices. Okay? Naninigaril niyo ba siya? Umiinom ba siya? Sometimes those are not really necessarily indicators of ne- a negative person. Kasi may mabait na tao, kahit nag-iusin siya, mabait siya. Na kahit nag-iinom siya, occasionally mabait siya. Pero ibang usapan kapag addict, kapag alcoholic, okay? So, consider those. As early as dating, on the dating process, pag nakita mo na na may ganun, ah, ito every week dapat umiinom. Ah, ito chain smoker siya. Ah, ito parang iba eh. Parang iba yung involvement sa buhay. You should already think twice. Why, I'm not telling you to keep on abandoning people. But choose wisely because you are investing na. And the, the tendency here is when you have spent a very long time, napakabang time dun sa tao, nakapag-invest ka na ng sobrang emotions, oras, napakilala mo na sa angkan nyo, sa kanununuan nyo hindi mo na kaya iiwan kaya nakita mo na nila na abusive pala siya or something or ang dami niyang bisyo. Kasi ang tagal niya, ganun usually narinig mo, eh, sayang naman. Ilan taon na kami, eh, kilala na siya ng mga magulang ko, ng buong angkan ko, ng buong probinsya, <laughs> ng buong mundo na kami. Something like that. Na may paghihinayang kung parang uh, parang may nawala na pinag-invest. Please, mas, mas malaking mawawala sa'yo Kung, kung hindi ka aalis na nakikita mong marami ng problema, hindi lang yung married life mo ang i-risk mo, pati yung future ng anak mo. Then, relationship background. Anong naging, there are other people who are open in discussing their relationships in the past. But there are also those who are not yet ready. At, pero kapag hindi sila ready, that's a hint. Hindi sila ready, big sabi, hindi pa sila nakapag-move on. Hindi sila komportable. Check the relationship background. Ano yung patterns? Kung makikita mo din kung paano niya i-describe yung mga ex niya. Kung yung, pa- kung yung pag-describe niya maayos, may respeto, kahit uh, alam niya nagkamali yung girl, sasabihin niya din yung kamalian niya, then that's a good sign. Okay? That means kahit naghiwalay na sila, nire-respeto niya pa rin yung girl. Pero kapag yung kasama mo, or boy, I mean, yung kasama mo, kung siraan or pag uh, pagsalitaan ng masama yung ex niya girl or boy iisip-isip ka kasi kapag ikaw ang naging ex niya hindi malayong ganun din ang pagkaka-describe sa iyo then check mo din yung reasons for breakup minsan ita-try nilang i-conciliate pero makikita mo yung common denominator okay nakapala yung reason kung bakit na nagbe-break sila in the past kasi nagkakaroon ng third party or ano siya pathological liar pala siya or control freak, or manipulative, i-check mo, and you'll be able to see that. Kasi as you talk, as you immerse into each other's background or lives, you'll be able to see the patterns, okay? Parang qualitative research, no? You're doing practically research, and this is for your future. Check mo, paano niya 
describe bakit ba yung pagsasalita minumuro niya ba kung ganon girl or boy alam mo na yung gagawin mo and then of course how does he deal with stress and emotions ano siya magalit nakita mo na ba siyang sagarang nagalit paano niya i-handle yung stress ano siya pag wala siyang pera ano siya kapag sobrang stressed siya dapat makita mo yun although sometimes um People are good in concealing and projecting. It's true that uh, you won't be easy, you won't see the real color of the person until you see him or her, uh, or you see him or her in in uh, in your house or you live together. But I'm not I'm not promoting cohabitation or live in in this point. Pero ang uh, ang major premise dito as early as dating you would see. Paano siya nagagalit? Pag nag-away kayo, sinong nanunulok? Pag nagagalit, kung kahit kung na, na, napikon mo siya, paano kanya kausapin? May respeto ba ba? Or wala na? May abusive ba siya? May time ba na natulak ka na niya? Namura ka na niya? Okay, you have to consider those. Okay? Pag down na down siya, how does he cope up with stress? Uh, merong iba na para... Pag sobrang down nila, ang ginagawa nila, they look for someone else to fill, to fill in that missing piece of their ego. So, you also have to check paano sila mag-cope up with their stress levels. Okay? Kasi ang hirap. Okay. So, these are the questions and our considerations that you need during dating or before getting married. Mahirap. I'm telling you. Sometimes, um, the person na iniisip mo siya na makakatuloy, may hindi pa rin pala. Then here comes another person. But the least that we could do is to get to know each other well. And if you could dodge a bullet already, please do so. Ito, tandaan mo, tandaan nyo. Do not marry, do not commit to a potential. What do I mean? Ah, pwede naman siya magbago. Ah, baka eventually magiging okay siya. Ah, baka eventually ma-overcome niya. Girl, hindi ka nakikipag-commit sa... Eventually, hindi ka nakikipag-commit sa future na hindi sigurado. Gets mo ba? Minsan sila na yan. Pero may times din na pwede magbago. Pero what if hindi pala ikaw ang makakapagpabago sa kanya? Nakuha mo ba? So wag mo, is- wag mo sabi na, ah, baka nag- pag nagka-anak na kami, magbabago siya. No. And I'm telling you all of this to save you from all of the possible miseries and stress in life. Because all of us deserve to be happy. All of us deserve to be treated like kings, queens, as long as we deserve to be treated. As long as we deserve to be treated like that. Baka, lakas mong maka-question, ikaw naman ang may problema. Remember, for you to find Mr. or Miss Right, you have to be the right person as well. It takes two to tango. Okay? So, ang hirap, no? Ang, ang difficult, no? Kung iisipin mo. Pero that's why we have the dating process. Pero huwag ka namang manghinayang, okay? Mas nakakahinayang habang buhay. Kung ang iniisip mo years pa lang, kumusta naman yung habang buhay? Kung yun yung, kung yun yung pag-iisipan natin, okay? Mas importante yung panghabang buhay. 10 years, 7 years, 5 years, sige. Kung nakikita mo na talaga yung mga red flags. Pero meron din namang taong willing magbago. Pero again, huwag kang mag-commit dun sa concept na magbabago siya. Kasi at the end of the day, ikaw ang mahihirapan. Then lastly, to end this um to, to end this video, pray for the person first. Okay? Kahit anong pilit mo, kahit anong gawin mo, kung sino ang gustong mapunta sa iyo ni Lord, dun ka mapupunta at wala kang magagawa. Okay? So then, pray for the right person and pray that you will be the right person for that person as well. So with that, I hope you learn for this uh from this discussion so okay bye bye don't forget to like and subscribe